Hello and welcome. Today we've got this DeWalt laser. It's model number, what do we see? DCE089G. It's a three head laser and it's not switching on. There's no resistance in that switch, so there's a, an internal activator broke inside. Um, this is quite an intricate little repair, so it's going to take a bit of fine work. So let's get down to business. So here we are, we've got the laser on the bench now. The part we need to fix it is simply this. This is not available from DeWalt. This was not easy to come by. I had to get this from a guy in England called Adam who uh, repairs these. He's got a profile on Facebook. Um, he, if, you're in, if you're in mainland England, Scotland, Wales, any of that, I think he's probably your man to fix these things. I'm over here in Northern Ireland so I had to get him to ship me this. Um, this wasn't cheap. This cost me an arm, a leg. I had to offer in Prima Nocte as well. If, if you don't know what that is, watch, watch Braveheart. Watch the movie Braveheart starring Mel Gibson. So like I say, quite an intricate repair, quite a complicated repair for me. So I'm just going to get down to business and you can watch on and hopefully enjoy the show. And hopefully I have a result at the end of this. The first thing we have to do is remove these screws and remove these three heads. Two, three, you know. These are T6 Torx and sometimes they can be hard to get out and they can get stripped and all sorts of things can happen. But hopefully not today. There we are. One head off. One could argue these are quite a precision piece of equipment and nearly belong in a lab rather than a than a building site. But people depend on them so much nowadays and they're such a really widely used device. This DeWalt model is very very popular. The DeWalt Laser levels are most popular in the region I'm from, definitely, by a long way. Milwaukee also do a real good one, a real good three head. But as of all things, Milwaukee tends to be a little bit more expensive. And uh, people with brand loyalty, if they've got everything else to walt. Even their dual tray 18 volt, they tend to stick there. These are a 12 volt thing, and most people aren't running the 12 volt tools because they're not really up to it, to be quite honest. There's a newer one of these that takes the 18 volt batteries as well, which I think was a good move by DeWalt. So that's the three heads off. And what we got to do now is four screws down here. And remove them. I think they might be T10 torques from memory. Right, here we go. Have to be careful of those heads, not damage them. Because uh, most of the stuff that I'd be working with usually is a bit more robust than this. This it's, it's, uh, you can throw it around a little bit better than these. These are very unforgiving, as far as that's concerned. That's the easy part. The hard part is coming. Let's try and get as close to the action as I can here. Um, 
what we have to do is there's a little circuit board on here and there's a little strap you have to pull out that strap and if we can remove the board yes yes that's the board out we'll have to get that little board out and we'll set it to one side for now this is a very what would you say intricate thing we have to do now just move things around like this you just jiggle it around if you can see there's um sort of a place we can right there we are that's the cover off now if you look in here you can see about snapped off there I can't see where the butt is though <laughs> which is kind of concerned maybe that this guy had that open and took that butt out but I always like to see the broken butt so we can remove it so it doesn't cause any issues hmm. The next step, I believe, is to remove these. I think they're T10. These three screws here. And remove this little strip here. I just left that straight out. Oh, there we are. So that's straight out now. And leave that somewhere safe. Try not to leave the heads touching anything. Kind of left it like, um, we'll see, like this, I suppose. So be careful with the heads. So looking at the parts I need to replace there, you can see them. They're a little small screw as well. This top one, I have the replacement part, even though that's fully intact, I don't really need that. I have spare screws that I don't need. This is really the part that I need. This is really it, and it goes on like that. So in order to get that out, what I do is screw this off first. Sorry for the shaky camera work, we're just trying to get up close and I'm keep nudging the camera. And hopefully it'll not affect your viewing pleasure too much. And there goes the, there goes the little screw. Head it south towards that magnet. There's somebody trying to get in touch, but anyway, that's the first part off. And this part's spring loaded. So we've got to reattach the spring as well as so again another screw. Has to come out. And they're they're very tight them screws. They can slip. Adam from England has furnished me with a new spring for you know the price we discussed. Though we don't need it in this occasion either. All we need is this. So we'll just have to lift this off as carefully as we can. 
and that spring will go where the spring goes when it's let go just wherever it wants and we got a right so here we go we'll try and line this up with what it has to be lined up with right that's in place and that's down there so we'll have to get the screw in now that's it fully tightened down and you can see when you have a two side by side like that Hello, upside down. Then you can see what's broke off there. This one should be slightly easier, hopefully. And put the screw in. Oh. Right. Well, now we have to put the pendulum back in. doing all the screwing by hand, I'm not using any battery screwdrivers or power drills to screw this together because it is so intricate and so, you know. So it's time to reattach the little strip. Again, a gentle touch is your friend. So that's that. Make sure you don't forget to put that in and put the laser together because if you do that you blow the board out of her and that's a bigger handling you know. We'll come to another tricky part of the procedure again and that's uh, putting on the head and the circuit board and the strip and getting it all together and getting it to work so hmm. Now to get this strap back in again. And again. A gentle touch is your friend. And these things. Don't force it. These strips are very easy to damage. These sort of things in general are easy to damage. It seems to be at night. And here's your switch stick in it. We'll see. I just try to get above this to get a better shot for you guys. Do you see what I'm doing? I've had to take this off again and I've been having some trouble because when I go like that, the little buttons come down. And if I push too hard, I'm in danger of damage in those buttons. So I'll probably have to do it around this way. So here we go. We'll get this head on again, hopefully. Um, yeah. We'll slide this in first. A little bit. Maybe. We'll see. 
and So we're probably going to have to invert this and do this. Hopefully the buttons will fall down, which they have, and hopefully slide that in without damaging it. As I said, this can be damaged quite easily in this process. did get that in without breaking them I think so that you got to be so careful got to be so careful with so many things in this laser a little strip attached now too get everything into position and yeah yes I think we can screw that together now switch that I fitted seems to be activating properly you can hear the little click and that click is when it's on the, it becomes a self level laser and when it's off it locks the pendulum for transportation so you're not no danger of banging the heads or damaging the internal components right so we've got to refit the three heads these are all identical it doesn't matter which which come off where you can't get it wrong you don't have to mark them and say this can come off the top this can come off the side or whatever and it's those small little little screws that are so easy to strip and so easy to lose just screw these heads on here get the right screw there which is a t6 again no no power drill been used here because they're just too small. Even the wee weakest rechargeable screwdrivers I have are much too much too powerful. Let's drop those screws out in a minute. Right, that's the three heads fitted now. All we have to do is a test. So here we are at the moment of truth. Has this been worthwhile? Battery's on. Laser's on. Purring up. Top line. That line. And that line. So I'm calling that fixed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos. If you're attempting to do this repair yourself, I would kind of discourage you, it is a tricky repair unless you know what you're doing and even at that things can go wrong. If you're in England, Scotland or Wales, uh, Adam Featherston in Manchester is somebody to get in touch with. He supplied me the parts for this so hopefully he can help you out. That is a tricky repair.